Mile2 partners with universities around the world to deliver quality, accredited cybersecurity education. University programs require a different approach than our traditional live class structure. Instructors need assignments, discussion forums, and easy to use grade books. Well, Mile2 has you covered. This is the second video in the instructor series. In the first video, you learned how to set up your Mile2 account and earn your instructor certification. This video starts with the all important My Account page we learned about in the first video. As a reminder, you must be logged in to access all of your features and you must hold an instructor certification in the course you're going to teach. So let's start at the My Account page. Find and click on the My Live Class tab. There are three options here. The first one will show you what your students will see. Go ahead and click on the Access My Class button. Here you will see the classes you are assigned to as a group leader. In this case, the individual is assigned to two courses. We will look at the CSP. This is the group page. It will show the course description and at the bottom of the page is a link to the course itself. When we click on that link, it will take us to the course page. This is what the students will see when they log into their class. There is a progress bar, a link for a PDF outlining the work for each week that we call the weekly workload document, a button that will take them to their forums for chapter discussions and weekly devotions, and their report card. Then they will see a pretest, their ebooks and lab request forms, if their class includes labs that is, and under that their course is laid out in chronological order with the final exam often landing on the next page. Let's take a look at each of the links that precede the course. The weekly workload document is a simple PDF that breaks down the weeks into blocks for easy reference. Inside of the discussion forums link, the students will find two sub forums, one for the chapter discussions and one for weekly devotions. They also have a way to easily return to the class page. When we click on the chapter discussion forum, you will see that each chapter is represented. The student will choose the chapter, read the question, and submit their response. Using the breadcrumbs, the student can return to the main class page. Finally, the report card feature will show the student the course they are enrolled in, any grades they have earned, and what percentage of their grade each assignment is worth. If you expand any of the sections, you will see what items are used in the grade calculation. That is the summary of what your students will see on the course page. Next up, accessing assignments and the gradebook. So here we are back at the My Account page. We are going to go to My Life Classes. We've already discussed how to access your class. We're gonna look at the gradebook. Okay, here you will see uh, we have our dummy professor. His name is Chad. He is a made-up person, um, but for this purposes, he's been assigned two classes, and today we're going to look at the CSP simply because it contains labs. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at Jessica Jagerson. That's me. I am a 70, and I'm an overall grade of a 70%. Uh, so let's take a look and see what I've done well and what maybe I can improve on. Um, so we can see right off the bat here, there was this introduction to IT security quiz, and I've scored a 0%. I scored an F on that quiz. Now you can let your students know that these end of chapter quizzes are something that they can take and retake until they get 100%. So um, that would be something to inform your student of if they're struggling, hey, maybe go back and try some of those quizzes again. The other thing you'll notice here is that these are separated into components, okay? So the risk management component includes the video and the quiz, but only the quiz is being graded here. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is, for example, with labs, what we have here is, is something where the student submitted the lab, and maybe the screenshot was good, but, did, but as a professor you notice that something important was missing. And let's say you went ahead and just entered in a manual grade, which can be done by clicking this, add manual grade, okay, to correct that lab. You wanted that total to be a 90%, for example, and you wanted to correct that lab, so you put in an 80%. The component is totaled as a set and gives you 90%. 
that would be a complicated way of doing it um, but that's more to let you know that if you wanted to add an assignment to a component that's how you could do it if you just simply needed to override a grade say the, um, the computer scores it at 100% because it was approved you can simply override that grade and say well it was probably an 80% because you noticed that they missed something important on that and now they've got yes they submitted it was 100% but it was the, the grade was modified or overwritten because it didn't get everything that the student needed to get um, the other thing that you'll notice is discussion and devotions are going to have multiple assignments added simply because week one discussion could have three chapters and a discussion question for each chapter so they're going to go ahead and submit their discussions and responses to you um, in assignment form again once it's accepted the computer automatically gives it a 100% grade but if you need to override that you can or again if you wanted to add some assignments you could do that just simply with a manual grade speaking of assignments let's take a look at the assignments this will open in a new tab so that you can quickly and easily get back to the gradebook and you're going to go to the Learn-LMS Assignments. Now if you're a professor of more than one class, you're going to want to, first thing you're going to want to do is choose the correct course for you. So the it will offer you the course that you're assigned to and you're going to go ahead and set the filter. And here you can see now it's all just security principles. You can see the author, so your students will be listed here. And you can see which uh, which assignment they've submitted the, the title for. So you can see that this was week four, discussions and responses. So we're gonna come over here and we want to view their assignment. And you can go ahead and click this document and it will pull up, This is, in this case it's a Word document, so it'll download, you can pull it up, and you can take a look and make sure that whatever it was that they've submitted it looks good is accurate and if you want to you can even leave a comment here for the student post that comment and the student will see it on their side so that is how you access the assignments and then um, you can go back to the gradebook and from the gradebook you can return to your main page you can go back to assignments or you can always just go back to your My Account page, and that's where we're going to head now. And you can go to Classroom Management, and here uh, is where you can see reports on your students' progress, how much time they've spent on a thing, how exactly their grades are breaking down in the quizzes. Um, and so there's a lot of additional valuable information about your students' participation within the class. And each of these uh, components are actually covered already in a pre-existing uh, video series for instructors. So if you come up here to instructors, this will open up our instructor aids page and you will find everything you need to know about accessing the learning management system reports for group management, individual activity, group and individual progress, and exam results, or you can look at the PDF. So that is an overview of your gradebook, how to access your assignments, and how to make changes to the gradebook if you need to. Of course, you don't have to use our gradebook, but it is a tool that is here for you. Um, we've broken down the uh, and tried to make it as automated as possible and give you really good access. But of course, if it's some, if you have a different system, you're welcome to use it. Thanks so much, and we hope this helped.